Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial series on Linux. I'm Vivek and I will be your instructor in this tutorial series. So this tutorial is intended for a person who is not at all uh, expert or a beginner, even beginner in Linux. If, even if you don't know anything about Linux, you just want to start. This is the place where you can start from. So I will be teaching you all the commands right from the beginning from the scratch and will take you to a level where you will be able to administer any system little bit about me i'm a red hat certified professional i'm a red hat certified system administrator i'm a certified information system security professional and i'm an ethical hacker uh, ceh version 7 so uh, nothing to do anything you don't need to worry about any of these certification uh, but if you are going for certification from red hat that is rhcsa and rhce or openstack you need to know a little bit about linux so uh, rhcsa is an exam where let, let me show you that so red hat is one of the companies and price Linux provider that that has few certification exams. So that is RHCSA and RHCE. So for doing RHC, you need to complete RHCSA exam first, complete it, and once you clear this exam, then you will be eligible for RHC examination. So RHCSA exam, if you see, uh, they are charging five days, fifty thousand rupees. Okay, well. What about RHCE? Okay, this is 44,000 rupees. All right, so this is just for training. Now, if you want to learn, you need to spend these money, this much money on on, on the, with these trainers. But I'll be making sure that I'll, I cover each and every part of the syllabus right from the beginning, right? We'll be covering uh, understanding and use of shell, using input output redirection, use grip command, remote system access using SSH, switch multiple users, uh, compress on compress files, create edit text files, delete copy move directories, create hard and soft links, list set change standard uh, permissions and locate read write system documentation including man command and all those things. We'll talk about operating systems, we'll see how the boot process happens, how you can break the root password and all those things, how you can configure the network, how you can configure the local storage, how you can create and configure file systems, deploy, configure and maintain systems, manage users and group, manage security levels so these all things are required for a system administrator now going once you are comfortable with these things we'll go and learn about rhce we'll see so this is about uh, system administration rhce is more focused on servers so we will see different system configuration and management we'll talk about network configuration we'll see what http https is how it works different thing about dns nfs SMB, SMTP, SSH, NTP, database services that includes MariaDB. We'll see each and everything in detail. So subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of the video tutorials which will be uploaded in coming time. And watch these tutorials, practice along with it. If you have any queries, feel free to shoot me an email or you can just um, write in the comment section. I'll make sure that I write to your comment i reply to your comment as soon as possible so and also i will be talking about various linux flavors so i'll be basically teaching linux on ubuntu uh, but for certification you definitely need to know rh red hat uh, linux rhel that we call it red hat enterprise linux now for rhel i'll show you how to configure these things next tutorials you also see how you can install these operating system on virtual machines and to learn these operating systems or practice you don't need a very advanced machine that this machine if you see it's a pretty old machine it's five years old machine which is running on let me show you the configuration so this is uh, having 8 gb ram i had that expanded recently uh, not recently like three four years back it's uh, it's running on i3 processor, the very old processor. So it's still good. I am able to run three, four virtual machines in this operating system. Uh, 
So I'll be switching uh, between Ubuntu and Red Hat Enterprise Linux and will be explaining things as and when required. So the commands are pretty much concept wise. It's more or less it's same only the syntax varies little bit. So even if you are comfortable with one Linux, you should not have problem handling the different Linux flavors. So all the best. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope to see you in the next tutorials and hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much.